Someone left a comment on one of my videos recommending this product. It's a Hot Logic Mini, and it's been a game changer for me. I wish I knew about this a long time ago. It's a slow cooking oven, basically. I've reheated my leftover pizza in here, and unlike the Road Pro oven, the Hot Logic heated up my pizza nice and evenly. The Road Pro gets hot fast, so my pizza would be very hot on the outer edges and lukewarm in the middle. And the shape of the Road Pro isn't designed for certain food items. The Hot Logic is made of canvas, so when you're not using it, it flattens out and doesn't take up much space. It also doesn't have any parts that can break off or get damaged in the tight space of a car. I've pulled the handle off of my Road Pro trying to pull it out of a tight space. I've had the clasp come off the front when I was trying to shove it into a tight area. And on the side there's a space to store the cord and I've accidentally pulled the cover off that. The Hot Logic doesn't have parts like that. And it doesn't just heat up leftovers. I've cooked frozen meals that would normally cook in a microwave. The heat comes from that flat surface on the bottom there. And the foil interior distributes the heat evenly. But when reheating my pizza, I do turn it over halfway through. I wrap the pizza in tin foil first. It's a slow cooker, so it takes an hour to reheat leftovers and at least two hours to heat up a dense frozen meal like lasagna. I've had a frozen meal thaw in my refrigerator first, and that took less time, obviously, to cook. It cost me $38 on Amazon. I got the version with the AC plug, but they do sell a 12-volt version that you can plug right into your cigarette lighter. My favorite microwave meals are Amy's, and I'm going to cook up a frozen lasagna right in the plastic and cardboard that it comes in. This oven won't melt the plastic or burn the cardboard. The only drawback is that this is slow cooking, so if you eat your supper at 5 o'clock, you have to remember to put your food in at least at 3 o'clock. I'm plugging this into my Kodiak generator. Let's see how many watts it uses. It says 55 watts, but 10 of that is the Kodiak cooling fan, so the oven uses 45 watts. So 45 watts is low enough that if you plug the 12 volt version of this directly into your cigarette lighter, you'll never have to worry about blowing a fuse, which I've done with a few 12 volt products. Two hours later, it appears to be cooked, but I'm going to check. It's hot in the middle, but not burn your mouth hot. If you like burn your mouth hot, I'd cook it another 15 minutes at least. Here's a clip of uh, another meal I've cooked in the oven. It, it was ravioli. It seems to me that you can cook any frozen microwave meal in this as long as it fits. And if you do some searching on YouTube, there's quite a few videos showing the many things you can cook in this little oven. RVs have ovens, but I can't think of any other way that you can cook lasagna in a car or a van. I'm going to dig in now. Perfection. And no dirty dishes to wash afterwards, which is a pain when you have a limited water supply. Thank you to the person that recommended this. It's awesome. 